Good evening. Ignite your purpose. JB, Max, Healthy Funky Free, Positive Vibes, a Lifestyle Movement. Oh my God. Hey, Max, good to, good to see you again. It's been a while, maybe 24 <laughs> hours. The last time. So I think. I think I see you more than my wife sometimes, but uh, that's, that's not a bad thing. Not a bad that's not thing. a bad thing. All good on your side of the, uh, of the pond? Everything is beautiful. Uh, it's supposed to be spring, summer here. You can see by the toque and the jacket, it is not. It is wet and damp and cold. <clears throat> C'est la vie. We're doing our best to maintain. Okay, so question of the day. I've... Um... I've been listening to a bit more of Max. I've been, he, Max has got uh, his own podcast. He, he pops it out on Anchor and iTunes. Uh, it, it, sometimes it's every day, sometimes it's whenever it comes out. But um, I, did, I did a bit of a Max Fest yesterday, and I, I, and I listened to a couple of dozen of these things that have been going on for probably a year or more now. Um, that's He's not the, sick of me yet. Is that the Positive Vibes Lifestyle Movement podcast? It is. Yes, it is. We will fire out into that later. Yeah. Um, so I've been listening to that, and I've known Max for a couple of years now, and we have these, this dialogue each and every day. So I think over time you get to pick up little, I wouldn't say inconsistencies in behavior or actions, but just sometimes they just don't line up. And so I've got a question. Um Recently, Matt, oh, I may not have to answer this. This is just for, just for you. Recently, you said, um, I like to operate last minute. I like the pressure of having to perform and deliver kind of a, on, on a short deadline. Would, would yeah. that be a fair description? Okay. On things that I love, yes. Okay. This might be where it comes in. However, at the other end, you comment, you know, about uh, sometimes the pressures of, of, of work and clients calling you up, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, and that causing you some anxiety. How you deal with that, I'm, you know, on a daily basis, I'm not sure, but it causes you anxiety when your clients are bugging you to come do the work, and it might be because you've been busy or the weather or whatever. Um, and so that causes them uncertainty. Uh, can you can, can you um, I'm trying to think what, what the actual question is here there's a distance well, I, I, between you wanting to operate last minute but then this grief coming to the other end because you like to operate last minute uh, and is that something you've considered and although you might say freaking clients he doesn't say that all the time by the way um, the, the clients <laughs> are, are chasing me for these works do you see what – it's not a great yeah. question. But. No, I know exactly what you're saying. Um, so so how I operate best. So, for example, when I'm creating content, um, when, I'm, when I'm inspired by the moment type deal, right? Like, for example, right now I'm going into a, a poetic stage on my Instagram and stuff where I'm, I'm, I've put this time restraint on myself. I want one to two um, what I call political poems per day. So, you know – you know me and people who are listening know me. If you do, I have a pretty jam packed day, right? So I might only have, and this is also the glory of having a skill. I'm only, might only have eight minutes, but in that eight minutes, I can jot down two to 10 poems that are about 30 seconds, right? I don't, I don't try and sit and have coffee all day at a, 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 a hip cafe and, you know what I'm saying? Try to pen something out while I'm talking to the home. You know what I mean? That's, that's not me, man. I, I want to jam when the inspiration hits me, but I know in that day I'm getting this done. You know what I'm saying? Now flip side to, uh, some of the companies I run. Um, and I know exactly what you're talking about because some of my, cl my clients, some of my, the staff that I have even are like, dude, we need a schedule. And it's like, you know, <laughs> when you, when you talk about schedule, for example, today, right. We were supposed to, we, when I say we, I mean the staff and whatnot, right? We were supposed to get to A, B, and C. Well, guess what? You're not going to get to A, B, or C because it's too cold. It's too wet. You can't do this. Something didn't happen. Um, so when it's uh, outside of my control, that's where, 
and see, this is where meditation comes in and self-awareness, all these mesh, right? When it's outside of my control, but I have, or our companies have promised something to somebody and yet they still call up and say, well, you said, you know, 8.15 on the 22nd and it's 8.15 on the 22nd. Why isn't this done? And I'm like, well, you know, for the last week it's been snowing. Uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? Right? So that kind of stuff definitely causes me stress. But when I come to creativity and we're not financially based, I love last minute stress. It, it, it just, it just jacks me. Um, when other people are depending on my last minuteness, very tough for me to deal with. I don't know if that exactly answers your question, but yeah, well, I'm still working on it. You know, I, 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 I've listened to I've listened to a couple of your your, your solo podcasts, or you, you're doing the, uh, the the sauna chronicles, and you've got a few other bits of bobs going on. And I, I just picked up on this, uh, bit, yeah, this last this. I'm getting I'm getting grief at here, but the weather's here, and and I'm just wondering how how you kind of how you how you balance it out. So. So you're um, in place, yeah. really, and also managing, you know, managing your clients' expectations as best as you can. Yeah, and, and this is something, you know, and I've been telling you about my class the last month, man. We've had a lot of people in telling us about, you know, astrological crap and all the stuff that's going on. We're, we're meant to shed the skin we're in. Uh, everything that's going to come up is to teach you right now, and, and it's going to be bang on. It's not going to be subtle anymore. Like uh, for the next two months and seven years, it's going to be in your face, lessons to be learned so we can evolve spiritually and consciously, right? Yeah. That, that is a lesson for me. Um, in, in Soto Zen, it's, it's, you're supposed to go with the flow. Um, you're supposed to let reality show you what it is, and that's all great if I lived up on a mountain top and, and didn't talk to anybody, right? Exactly. But real world – people relying on you that you've somewhat promised a date to and they're either they either don't care or unaware um, of the reasons as to why not even though you're trying to communicate them um, and I always say this communication is key but you know if I tell John um, I spell cat c-a-t but John hears k-a-t then I can't you know I, I'm only responsible for what I say I'm not responsible for what other people interpret yeah, but okay. it's that interpretation from them back, brought back onto me that messes me up. And it's a lesson I still haven't learned. And I say this, we're all human. You know, you're not going to have 100% of everything. So that's something I'm definitely still working on every day. My, my teacher always tells me to, you know, drop those expectations and whatnot. And it's, it must be something from my immigrant background. I don't know. Yeah. That's something I definitely am still working on. That's interesting. I, I think we're we're going to slide slightly off topic now. But you were talking about <laughs> well, that's how we roll. Perfect. That's how we roll, baby. There's uh, no rules on this game called life. You you were talking about that uh, shedding your skin and, and breaking free and moving on. Um, I'm not even sure I've, I've spoken to you about this. Next week, I have my first public speaking arrangement event. I fear no. <laughs> Nice. Choose the words. In the past tense, public speaking, more than death. Death was cool. Public speaking, not for me. But uh, I've stepped up the date next week, next Thursday. Plan to, uh, plan to record it. I've been having some, uh, some little, little, little bit of uh, online coaching with a, with a friend I know who's done some speaking, some tips, and just some guidance and structure, really. And uh, how to deliver um so that's it that's next week ultimately i'm excited for you brother the only person that that my performance i the only the only opinion i care about is my own you know people can like it not like it think it was good not think it was good i'm there going there to do it for my growth and my personal development so i can be better tomorrow than today Exactly. Uh, I'll vibe with you on that. You you know the thing I was at this last week, the International Film Festival. Yeah, I yeah. am not a photographer. I'm not a video guy professional. We create content. I know how to do it all. Um, so one of the gigs that I was delegated to do was there was a bunch of movie premieres that were on. So it's a bunch of bigwig celebrities. And my goal was to get up basically in these celebs' faces, not not you know too close, but get up pretty tight. And get certain shots, yeah, of these celebs. And 
man, I, my, you know, I was sweating a little bit, like to, to, to have to go up to them with a camera and be like, Hey, can I take your picture? Can you pose like this? Um, was uncomfortable for me in my mind. We're saying that past tense, but I put on my big boy pants and said, well, I'm the only one here to do this. This shot has to be done. This is my responsibility. And I was sweating the first two, right? We got the, the Will and Grace cast. There were some other people, the Karate Kid there. You know, I don't want to name drop by any means. But after the second one and seeing the smiles on their faces and, the, and they shook your hand and said, thank you. Can I see that? I was like, oh, this is fun. This is, you know, I'm actually providing some type of joy for them. You know, because I, you know, me, I talk shit and I'm like, yo, you look good. You know, a lot of the women, I would tell them how sexy they looked and they would love it. Smiling from your ear. They want to see the picture. So then all of a sudden, like when you're going talking, we're coming at it from our perception. But the minute you start speaking and, you know, you see somebody in the crowd that's smiling or has an aha moment, you go, ah, I'm here for a reason. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, yeah, well, um, I, I, I intend to record it. So I'll, uh, I'll put good. it on, I'll post it. You can all listen to it. Critique it, whatever. And, uh, no critiquing. You did all you know. All we're doing is getting better in this game called life, baby. That's it, day yeah, by day, right? Yeah. Right, my friend. Uh, we've been rattling along for uh, for quite some time there, so I think it's about time for us to say good night, Avida Zane. Ciao. And we, we appreciate you, people. We know you could be time. anywhere in the world, and you hanging right here with the UK man and Mr. Canada. We appreciate you. See you tomorrow, John. I appreciate your time, brother. Thank you. See you soon, bye bye.